This is a video on the guts, well at least partial guts, of one of these Philips LED lamps that they have uh, introduced recently. 800 lumens uh, claimed uh, 10 and a half watts and unlike most of their um, this GLS retrofit LED options recently of a higher color of at least higher color rendering lamps like for example this one which use uh, remote phosphor and blue LEDs this one does not it uses a series of 38 although the PCB can take 40 they've got a pair of uh, zero arm resistors is um, fillers which interesting enough probably from different reels or different suppliers because the style of the zeros are different but it uses some of these don't know what package these are but they're a surface mount type of LED of some description looks like a I guess maybe a 12 12 or a 13 13 don't know what exactly what package, uh, package it is but um on a metal core printed circuit board. Don't know whether or not this is isolated, haven't tested that yet. And they're all about 5,400 rank kind. Although the assembly is made by Nietzsche and not Philips. So I figured with something like this it would be a variation on those L prize lamps which use a combination of two different high efficiency means of getting or high, high efficiency means of generating a reasonable color rendering white light which utilize either blue LEDs or remote phosphor or a mix of red LEDs and cool white LEDs the um, this lamp uses the remote cerium dope yttrium aluminum granite phosphor and um, blue LEDs some like the um, LED um, or Cree um, although they're eco smart branded uh, downlight or retrofits use a mixture of cool white LEDs and red LEDs, the L Prize lamp uses both. Um, I figured it'd be something like that, but instead it's just a fairly conventional type of board, and I imagine that they're simply relying on the very high efficiency of the LEDs on this. So, not going to tear this down all the way because. I actually have a use for these and they're kind of on the expensive side so I don't want to completely shred them but yeah that's just another LED board I'll place a couple of screws probably pull that out and other than that it's a fairly standard it'll be a fairly standard topology um, constant current output and switching supply which is fairly typical for LED dimmers nowadays you can see down in there is a heat sink and there's a metal heat sink all on the inside of this plastics although so it does have a, some degree of heat sinking, but I imagine the thermal resistance of this plastic would be fairly high, so probably still going to use this in um, cold um, ambient temperature application situations. And it also says it's not dimmable, so further. So I'm going to have to do further testing on whether or not it will work on uh, square wave inverters. But testing for another day because good. Busy and usual.